Hey, it's Matthew McAllister here, and for once I'm not travelling, this time I'm at home, back in Glasgow, and I've got a bit of time to relax, which is great. And this time, rather than talking to you about something that's occurred to me when I'm travelling, I thought I would answer some questions that have appeared on my vlogs recently from different people on different forums saying, could you address a particular subject in your next vlog or whatever. So, I just want to take a few minutes to talk to you about listening and how listening can make you a much better musician. I had an experience a few years ago, I think it was maybe six or seven years ago now, when a great piano player came to town, a man called Andras Schiff, and he came to celebrate the piano in a festival here in Glasgow. There was lots of great players invited to come and perform. And the concert started and I was really concentrating and listening on a very deep level to what the man was playing when he was working at the piano. And then I sort of started to get almost a headache as the, the concert progressed because it was so interesting what he was doing. If I decided to follow the melody line or follow some of the internal voices he was doing, it got very intense because he was doing so much with every possible uh, part of the music that he had in front of him. So it was an amazing experience. About halfway through the concert, I had to just kind of stop listening on such detail and just enjoy the lovely sound of the piano in a beautiful concert hall and then come back in and out of that listening at a more higher level. But that was a really important experience for me because the next morning I already felt like I could phrase better and I could make better music and I had a lot more decisions available to me just through watching and listening to that one concert. I felt like I could now replicate some of that on my instrument. I could try to emulate some of the great choices that Schiff was making in his programme. Now, my fingers were no better the next morning than they were during listening to that concert because I had done no technical practice at all. Obviously, I hadn't improved as a player. But what I had done was I had really expanded my mind and I had really experienced something in my brain when I was listening to the music that was challenging my fingers to do more because I wanted more out of the music. Now, you can do this with anything. You don't even have to do this with a live concert. You could do this with music you listen to when you're walking to the bus stop or music you listen to on the bus or on the train or whatever it is. Listen to music, but don't just let it wash over you. Try and use the music as a catalyst to your own playing, your own musicianship, your own phrasing. Listen to the melody line. Try and follow it. Try and think of the intervals between the notes. Listen to the harmony and the tension of the harmony as the player lets the piece unfold in front of them. As a listener, you actually have a responsibility. If you let the music just wash over you, if you use it just to get you from A to B, okay, fine, it served a great purpose for you. But if you're a little bit more responsible in your listening and listening in depth, you start to find out a lot more about the music. You can become a better musician just from listening, away from your instrument, not even playing. So that's what I challenge you. Put on a CD or a vinyl, an MP3, stream some music from whatever you know, fruit-based device you use and just try to listen to the music in a little bit more depth and a little bit more detail and overnight you can become a better interpreter of music that you already play. Okay, so just a few thoughts on listening. Um, I'll see you soon.